Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Latafa's Ragma Wood Intense. All right, so Ragba Wood Intense is from the house of Latafa. It is no depart farm concentration, and you can pick this up for about $20, $25 at various discounters. I'll leave some links down in the description below if you wanna check that out. Presentation on this, beautiful looking bottle. Very simple, very elegant, very sophisticated, to the point, nothing crazy or wacky. Nice thick glass on it. It has this kind of wood grain exterior to it, and on the front you have your Latafa logo that's kind of transparent through so you can see the juice. Cap on this has a little bit more of a wood texture to it than the sides do. A nice wood texture on here, nice thick cap. There's nothing cheap feeling about this for like a $20, $25 fragrance. The presentation on this is absolutely amazing. So you're getting, you're getting more than your money's worth when it just comes to the presentation. Atomizer on this, really nice. Big wide puffs, long spray. And the fragrance is absolute fire. And I, and I mean that in like the hip hop good sort of way, as well as the actual scent profile. This opens up with a very like burnt wood, campfire, smoky incense mixed with like a little bit of sugary notes. It's got this guyac wood that adds some like really nice smoked woods to it. And it's got a caramel note that kind of brings out some sweetness to it. There's a bit of licorice in there that adds a little bit of a sweet, spicy, almost kind of green tinge to it. But what really sings in this is that guyac wood, that smoky accord, as well as that caramel mixing with some burnt sugary kind of notes to it. In the mid, you get some sugar, actual sugar notes that are listed, and you get that typical kind of Middle Eastern oud vibe to it. So the dove ha does have like a Middle Eastern kind of edge to it with that oud, but it's not a medicinal oud, it's not like a barnyard oud, it's a very woody oud that kind of elevates that guyac and some of those sugar notes. Very, very nice oud, not overbearing. If you're not into oud fragrances, I think you could probably handle this. It's not a, an overly oudy oud, it's, very nice, very subtle, sits, works with everything very, very nice. But that Gayak wood, those sugary notes, just sing throughout this. Now this does open up very smoky and very woody, but as this kind of works to the dry down, the incense sort of dies down a little bit and the sweetness kind of elevates a little bit more. So there's some like vanilla and amber that kind of come through with this. And what happens is the, the sweetness kind of almost gets elevated a little bit with that, that burnt sugar note and that uh, vanilla and then it sits on top of that, that nice wood base and that smokiness, that sort of incense, but it all sort of kind of evens out. It opens up very woody and smoky with some sweetness and then it balances itself out to have a, a really nice, well-blended fragrance. Basically what this reminds me of is just sitting around a campfire roasting marshmallows in like the late fall, you know, you're wearing a hoodie, you're sitting by the campfire with your friends, you're toasting a marshmallow and you're like just holding it far enough away from the fire that you get like that nice little golden edge to it. You're not just jamming it in there and it just lights on fire and you got a black marshmallow. It's just like you're browning it up really nice and it's all just like looking perfect and you pull it away just in time and you show all your friends like look at my perfect marshmallow. That's what this is like. This is like the perfect roasted marshmallow sitting by a campfire. This is just absolutely like the most fall fragrance you can have. It's just screams fall weather. I, I, I love wearing this in the cooler weather. It's just an absolute bomb. It's so sexy, a perfect balance of smoke, woods, and sweetness. It's just, it gives me a wood intense. And speaking of performance, this is an absolute beast. I get at least 10 plus hours of longevity out of this. Projection on this is pretty loud for the first two or three hours before it kind of settles in a little bit closer. You get mad performance out of this. It's called intense for a reason. Now it's not overpowering. You can overdo it, obviously. You can fill up a room with this if you just go crazy on the sprays, but it's not an overly obnoxious or like cloying sort of sweetness to it or like too smoky unless you overdo it, like I said. But you know, three, four sprays, this will do you all day. If you get some on your clothes, I wouldn't recommend it doing with a white shirt just based on the color of the juice here, you might stain your shirt. But if you do get it on some clothing or whatever, you're gonna smell it the next day, 100%. This is just, this lasts all day long, on skin, 10 plus hours easy, and you're gonna have a nice, beautiful, smoky, sweet scent bubble that is just gorgeous, Gorgeous in the fall, super sexy. I absolutely love how this fragrance smells and I love how it performs. 
Now in terms of occasions, I've kind of already touched on this. I definitely think this is a fall winter fragrance. It's just, it just has that, that warm, sugary, inviting sort of vibe to it. Like I said, I can just see myself sitting in a hoodie, walking around, rocking this. I would say it's more like of an evening scent. I would wear this date night for sure. I think this would be a great date night fragrance, but you could pull this off during the day in the cooler weather, um, fall, winter, I mean, you know, anytime in that area, I think that's where this would shine. In the hotter weather, I think this would work too. Like I said, the sweetness isn't too overbearing. I just don't feel like it'd be like an appropriate summer fragrance, for example. I think this is just has too much of that sweetness and that burnt wood and that incense for it to really kind of fit with like summer heat or even kind of like a warm spring. This again, I think is way more of a fall fragrance, definitely a winter fragrance. It just has that, that cool weather vibe to it. And that's, that's definitely where I'd be wearing this. Now in terms of occasions, I think you could wear this casually as well as formally. You can dress this up or you can just kind of wear it running errands around town. You can wear this on a date night, you can go to a fancy restaurant, you can do fancy things like operas or whatever fancy people do. You can go do that with this. I think this would work fine. This is very sophisticated, got an elegance to it, and it's just got this rich sexiness to it with that, like I said, with that woods and that, that sweetness to it. Very nice fragrance for kind of formal occasions. I think you could make that work. And in terms of casual, I think you could be running errands. I think you'd be hanging out with friends, going out for lunch. Again, more in the cool weather, I think is where this, this vibe is. But I think you could pull it off casually just as easily you could pull it off formally. In the office, I'd be a little bit careful with how many sprays you put on. You could be too much, especially if you're kind of in closed quarters. So, you know, dial it back a little bit. I wouldn't say this is a great office fragrance, but hey, you do you. You know your workplace better than I do. And, and if you just don't care about your coworkers, you can choke them out with this. This, this You can easily do it by over spraying this. But if you're gonna wear it to the office, be, be careful, I'm warning you right now. Gym, I know I get lots of comments about, can you wear this to the gym? I would not wear this to the gym. I don't think this is a gym fragrance whatsoever. Again, you do you, whatever. If you're gonna go and smell like sweet smoky woods while doing bench presses or squats, you can do that. But you might not be making friends because this, this is not really a gym scent, but you do you. I just don't think it's a gym scent. So cool weather, casual, formal, I think this shines. I think this is just an absolutely beautiful fragrance, not for every occasion, but for a lot of occasions. And I definitely think it's for the fall and winter. All right, so if you haven't been able to tell already, I am a huge fan of Latafa's Rag by Wood Intense. I just think this is like the perfect fall fragrance. I cannot wait for fall. I'm, I'm getting so sick of summer, to be quite honest. I can't wait for the cooler weather where I can just rock this all the time. It's just a beautiful burnt smoky woods mixed with like just the perfect amount of sweetness and burnt sugar to it. I find this to be just elegant, sexy, inviting, warm, delicious fragrance. It's so, so good. I absolutely adore this fragrance. And the fact that it's a bit of a beast in terms of longevity and projection, you just can't miss with this in my opinion. For the price of 20 or $25, this is probably one of my best Latafa buys I've ever purchased. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. I absolutely love it. If this is something that you would enjoy, if you like that kind of smoky woody incense mixed with some like sugary notes, and again with some like beast mode performance at a reasonable price, Latafa knocked it out of the park. I think you should check it out. I think you should get your nose on it. That's Latafa's Ragba Wood Intense. So let me know, have you guys tried Latafa's Ragba Wood Intense? What did you think? What was your impression of this? Did you like it as much as I did? Or did you think it was trash? Because if you think it's trash, I, I don't believe you. This is beautiful. But I still wanna hear from you. I want you to drop a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing your different perspectives on things. I also love your different recommendations on videos you'd like me to do or different fragrances I should try out. So do it right now. Just go click on, click on the comment box, start typing. Tell me what you think, give me your thoughts. What are you wearing? What are you enjoying? Love to hear from you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you all next time.